Oh, hey, hello everybody, my name is Waymaster and welcome to a video that I wanted to talk about the situation that happened uh, quite a while now, uh, about a month ago or so, but basically, yeah, uh, I let you guys know in the Discord and everything that I did go to the hospital and it was because I found out I had kidney stones. So what happened was, is one morning I woke up, you know, same type of deal as every morning, you know, get up kind of like slowly wake myself up. I didn't have like work or anything, so I didn't have to really get up or anything too crazy. So I was up, I was on my phone, just looking through social media and everything. And then all of a sudden, you know, I just had to use the restroom. And then I decided to get up. But the thing is, you know, whenever you wake up, you know, and you're like up for a while, you got that, you know, you have the energy to get up and start going through your day. So I kind of lunge myself forward to like, you know, pick myself up and everything with some momentum and I felt a very sharp pain in the lower right side of my back and that was very strange because I've never felt that pain ever in my life. It was like, to describe it, it was like I felt like I pulled my back. Like I actually felt like I pulled my back muscle out of play or like just I guess messed with the muscle. and. I had to lay down right away and like I let out a groan I was like oh my god like it was it was really bad and then from that point the pain just stayed and it didn't go away for a while and okay I was like okay okay you know I, I went up we used the restroom and stuff and I was like okay so like I might as well go use the restroom still and then come back and I just lay down and try to rest it off and everything like that so use the restroom the pain's still going I come back and lay down and then I realized the pain is starting to get worse and worse and worse. And that brought concerns to me personally. And like, it was to the point where like, it was like at a, like 11 out of 10 almost. Like I was like trying my best. Like I kept telling myself, please just stay still, stay still, stop moving, stop moving. Just lay there. Just try to hold it. Just hold it, lay down, breathe. And just like go through the pain and it'll go away it's just a pulled muscle you'll be fine and the pain was so much like i was like kind of groaning and like kind of like like moaning a little bit because i couldn't hold in the pain i really couldn't it, it it was it was to the point where like i couldn't like hold in sounds and stuff and i was like even though like i try to stay as still as possible like my body just felt like it had to move like it, like it was like on fire like it felt super super bad and then it was to the point so like after like like struggling for like an hour or two hours in bed uh i decided to go up get out and i go get some water because i was feeling thirsty at the time too and like i wanted to go see if i could get some ice as well like i was like all right i'll go ahead and go get some ice and like i'll put it on my back and see if that works so i got water and i got ice but on the process of doing that i went out there and uh, i see my roommate he's like <laughs> I see my roommate, he's sitting on the on the on, on the couch, right? He's he's just, you know, doing his own thing and everything. And he looks at me he's like Yeah? You good? I was like and I was just like He's like, oh my god, like are you okay? Cause like dude, I thought you were like like masturbating, you're having like the best sex of your life now. Like I thought you were having a good time. And I was like No. No, like I, I, I like of course thinking in the moment it, like it was funny but like I couldn't laugh because the pain was too much it was too much to even bear uh from that point he like he was like yeah like don't feel like like you should hesitate to go to the hospital or anything and, like I, I took that to know because but the thing is is that I'm very cheap and like of course that's probably not something you should be like when it comes to your health because I mean what's gonna matter if like it's something serious and you could die you know um so i got the ice i got the water and stuff i said like oh i was just gonna try and ice it because i think i pulled my back uh i after about 30 minutes and stuff trying to struggle with the ice try to lay on my like skydive position i try to lay on my back on it i tried leaning on my side but that just made it even worse uh eventually the pain developed into like to the point where like i felt the urge to throw up and then I started throwing up that was very that was a very interesting type of pain because like it hurt so much that I felt like I had to throw up and I had to go up and just go use the restroom again and I'm sorry I probably should have warned saying that I was going to throw up but that's basically how it felt it 
was so painful. Like I've, when I was younger, there was another story that I could tell you some other time. But basically I stepped on glass and like it cut through my skin. Like I was seeing cords in my feet. Even, like it was like hallucination or something because of the pain probably. But that pain did not even compare to the pain I felt on my back in that time. Like I didn't puke or anything. Like I, I, it wasn't like, like, oh my God, that hurt so much and stuff. Like it was so bad. So around that time, like I eventually started feeling like, okay, like I'm just going to try and struggle and fight this through. Cause like it, it should go away at any moment, like in the next hour or something. I take like about throughout the day, about a total of like a thousand milligrams of like uh, ibuprofen. And uh, I spanned it out like maybe 200 every like two hours. And basically this went on for a period of about 12 to 14 hours until like uh, late at night. I just like uh, I eventually decided, all right, midnight, like it happened at like eight, eight in the morning or something when I was I got up and I was like around midnight when the time like like I, I eventually talked talk to my roommates also a, uh, a couple of times between that and stuff. And he said like, you know, he had ex uh, experienced so much of that and it was like appendicitis and stuff like that. So he had to get his appendix removed, uh, but that's potentially fatal. And like, I kind of felt worried about that. And I didn't want to have to, you know, just die. I might like die from like passing out of ex ex exhaustion and pain, but also just die just because it was like a, like something serious like that. So eventually I did uh, decide to go to the hospital. And when I went to the hospital, they took my blood. And when I was laying down there waiting, there was like two or three other people there specifically for kidney stones and I was like oh man dude that must be painful because like there was like some cases where they were like already passing kidney stones and they were like bleeding and it was like something serious but then like whenever they came back to me with my like the blood they were saying like your levels and like specific fields are too high too high keep in mind I have not done any exercise I haven't gone out besides going to work and home work and home grocery store home grocery store home Gro you know like i barely do anything like i haven't gone out that much to see like anyone at all like none of my loved ones no like none of my friends nothing and it came to the point where they they were just like we need we need to give you a cat scan because we need to know like what is inside your body because i told them like like i throw up i threw up I feel like a sharp pain like it was to the point like I was like exhausted from I guess like all the adrenaline or something I felt like just from like struggling through the pain that like my voice kind of felt like deeper and lower because it was just like my body was just done after a few like like an hour or so like I eventually got into the CAT scan because it was like a list like a like a weight line I get the CAT scan and then they came through and they said okay thankfully it is not like anything serious like appendicitis like you, I didn't have to get like my appendix or like pink or like any of like the organs removed or anything like that so I was happy about that but they said they found uh kidney stones in my lower right like uh kidney like side of the kidney and everything and that uh also that I was having like uh uh they, they were going to administer like a, a, a pill to me and like they they asked if I wanted morphine and everything and eventually they uh, gave me an IV of two liters of saline solution and then after like it was most of it was done like throughout the time they said it was going to be cold and I started to shake and whenever I started to shake like my lower back started to shake that started to make the freaking pain oh my god to like a 50 out of 10 dude like i cannot hold in like this like my sounds or anything like that and then they had to give me morphine and stuff because i was because i couldn't stop the shaking because when you get an iv that stuff is like they, they even said like it's going to make you cold it's going to make you shiver and everything like that and like it, it was like not even a controlled shiver i couldn't hold myself back from doing it my body just did it so then they said hey like we, we can't give you morphine or anything until most of the iv's done i'm like and eventually, after waiting about 30 to 40 minutes for that to happen, they gave me morphine and oh my god, the, my body and instantaneously felt warm and it calmed down. It went from like that, like 15 or so 
back down to like a four or five. I was so happy about that. I was like, oh my god, like this is actually a pain I could deal with. Of course, I don't want to deal with any pain, but like it was something I could handle. And eventually, they gave me a pill that said that it would break it down, and it it, it I, I I I it did because uh, within like the next day or two or something like that, like I started like like uh the next few days i kept drinking water because they said of course like whenever they let me go uh they they recommended that i go to a different like hospital to go and get checked by a urologist i believe they said and uh which is specifically with like uh the urinary tract system and everything and they could also take care of like kidneys stones and never all that stuff like they would probably like ask to go ahead and like receive samples of my kidney stone so they could study and see what it was specifically but i'm going to assume that it was like sodium based and stuff like that but like salt because like since i don't like exercise and go out that much and i very rarely drink water like i eat fiesta sized talkie bags in one sitting like i eat like the whole bag like if i'm like playing a game or if i'm watching a show or if i'm just watching youtube streams anything i'm just like I am just packing down non-stop. I'm just going and going and going. I'm just cramming my face. I don't care. It, maybe I'll get some, uh, a little bit of milk. No, maybe a little milk, but then maybe like a sip of water. Cause like, I just like the, 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 the flavor of just like the talkie in general. It's like, yeah, it's salty, but like it has like that slight fuego to it. You know, that, that like, like, like I really enjoy talkies. I think talkies is one of my favorite, if not my favorite, chips ever so far currently maybe i don't know but yeah uh from that point uh, i started drinking a lot of water and everything like that like dude i went to the store and i got like four jugs like four gallons worth of water and i freaking just started downing them like like i, I didn't want to like go too far I'd, like drink more than a liter and stuff like that a day because like you know i don't want to get like water sickness or like water poisoning or something because you could get water poisoning of course um but yeah, like I was your like had to urinate a lot and everything like that. And like after like a few days, like within a few days and stuff, like I felt them passing and everything. It was like, and they I, they gave me prescriptions. I got my prescriptions the same day or like the next day. Uh, and like I started feeling like stuff pass through and everything like that. Thankfully, like I didn't like bleed like too much or anything like that. And the pain was like starting to relieve itself after like I took all the meds and everything, and. Then there was like when I would like urinate sometimes it came out like kind of pixie dust kind of like there was like you could see like little like shimmers of stuff inside it and it was so weird. It was so weird to see that in like your like your urine like I mean you don't usually expect to see that on the, your average time of using the restroom but I'm just glad they're out and uh, I'm glad I'm better now. I'm I do I do still eat junk food. I still eat Takis but i do drink a lot more water like you know from here like i get this like anytime i like go to work and stuff like i get a full trend to size of cup of water and stuff like that and i drink water here from my uh my place so i do try to take care of myself a little bit more in that regard because dude that is that pain is un undesirable no it is not something i want to experience ever again not at all uh, but yeah, that's basically what happened. Uh, I appreciate that all of you guys waited for this video. I did say a long time ago that I was going to upload the video and I'm finally getting it out because I procrastinate. I, I'm human. I don't like, you know, I, this is probably a mistake that I waited so long, but it's okay. I, I appreciate those who've actually been patient and waiting and also there for support. Thank you guys. I really love you guys for showing the support. It really means a lot. And thank you for sh sh sharing your concerns with me and everything. So if anything, that's going to rip up this story. You know, I feel like I have a lot of stories to tell, but just too lazy to share them. <laughs> you know, maybe one day I could talk about the, the story of how I got glass in my foot. And that was a painful one, too. That was definitely a painful one. And how I got like scar, like a scars and stuff, too. But if anything, uh, if you guys wanted to hear any other stories or anything like that about my life, I maybe let me know in the comment section below like what kind of stories you want to hear from me and if i have a story maybe i'll share it have like a little story time story time with wade that might be fun but yeah if anything thank you guys all so much for the support 
I love you all. And of course, stay messy, whatever you guys do. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Later and high five.